What's going on, my web doors? Before getting right into this month's coverage, I have to firstly apologize for not offering any for August. High Mouth the Studios were going through a hard rock bottom for that month. They were going through film delays due to certain film crews, such as the cinematographer being forced to book out of the project for personal matters, and some others whose names I won't speak of being forced out due to mistreatments. Nevertheless, Brian and the others has reassured me that they'll get this project out for the fans who have their highest anticipation for its release. Whatever it takes. Without further ado, here's all the current info I have about the currently in developed Spider-Man 4 fan film. To begin with, the crew managed to secure a small number of certain film locations that can contain certain resemblances to the Big Apple and had recently set up one indoor film set for recreation of familiar locations from the trilogy such as the Daily Bugle offices and Mr. Dickovich's apartment complex though I expect the rent is still need to be paid in due time Secondly, on the costume department side of things we got some pretty awesome close looks at the suits that recently arrived and some others that are being currently handcrafted both of which are being prepped for production first of all High Mountain Studios released a promo image of their mysterious costume and the actor will be played by Harley himself one of the main writers for the project it's a damn sweet design for a mysterious costume and while may not have all the bells and whistles compared to his far from home counterpart, it's still cool to finally see the suit in its full glory. As for one certain mysterious suit that is currently in the works, a handcrafter in Letterworks cosplays posted an Instagram story of one of the suits in construction. It isn't implied whose suit it is, but if I have to take a wild guess, it's likely to be the Vulture's wing design, but only time will tell. Finally, to wrap it all up, I got confirmation that the Spider-Man suit made by Spidey for fun has finally arrived at the doorstep and being close to be ready for filming. And it looks astonishing as bloody hell. They're only in the process of applying their urethane webbing, but the final project will hopefully look awesome and accurate as its official counterpart. So maybe a little miscalculation on the placement. On a side note, Brian is finally getting himself prepared for his Peter Parker sequences. He posted a story of himself getting that Toby haircut and went through clothes shopping for the screen accurate look of how Toby wore in the trilogy. And I may have helped him in getting one at least. Anyways, that's all the coverage I can manage for this month. There's no guarantee I may be able to keep a consistent pace to, to cover for the rest of this year. But I'll keep delivering the news whenever they pop up because like you fans out there watching this video, we want to see this film coming to life and succeed just as much as you do. Nevertheless, I do hope this coverage keeps you informed of the current status of the project and I also hope to see you all for the next video. Until then, I'll see you webdoers later.